I was just coming down to say goodbye. Anthony, came to help you with your bags. No, that's okay. I got it. I can take them down myself. I, I got them. What's... What's this? What's going on? Um... Well, see, my friend Dignan didn't realize that this was a voluntary hospital, and... He got this whole escape thing worked out, and he just got so excited about the thing. I, I, I didn't have the heart to tell him, uh, no, that, uh, look how excited he is. I gotta do it this way, Dr. Nichols. I gotta climb down. It's, it's only one floor down. Okay. But can you do it fast? You know, this this doesn't look good. None of this. No, none of this looks yeah. good at all. Well, thanks very much, Dr. Nichols. You've really been a great help. You've been a great doctor. No. Thank you. Can you hear me in my bag, please? I'll see ya. Hey, Anthony, don't try to save everybody, okay? Okay, I won't. Okay. Now this is just a rough sketch of what I was trying to do. 
the idea of practice, job, heist, and the idea that you and I both respond to goals, and it all leads to Mr. Henry. Oh, the guy from the letters. Exactly, right. exactly. Oh, okay. Now, this is rough. What I try to do is I think you and I Second both respond five. to structure, and that's what's 25. important for Boy, us. you really got a well Well, next 50. Yeah. So, did you enjoy your first visit to the nut house? Did hey, you like hey, that? Shh, shh, shh. Come on. Be sensitive to the fact that other people are not comfortable talking about emotional disturbances. Uh, you know, I am. I'm fine with that. But yeah. other people. Okay. Put it behind you. You're out. You're better. Yeah. And so it begins. Okay, now we should also get on a fitness regime. Sit ups, road works, hitting the bags. Yeah, I was running 10 miles a day when I was out in the desert. Were you really? Yeah, and I when That's I got exactly cooler, what I'm talking out. about. That's good cardiovascular. When did you get so avid about the fitness thing, nigga? What? What do you mean by avid? I'm just saying, I've never known you to be all that athletic, and all of a sudden you've you never, wait, you've never known me to be all that athletic. What, I mean, does it, sure weird? Athlete, well, does it sound weird? You're a good athlete, Well, does it sound weird to be talking about all the yeah, exercise? No, it doesn't sound weird at I'm all. not saying that it's a top party, but I think it's a pretty good no, goal. Yeah, I know, I think it's a really good goal. Here, put these on. good quickness. Yeah, in and out pretty fast. Real fast, man. And good intensity. High intensity. Great intensity, because I was like, do 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 like, and really the, fast. The preparation was good, you know. I think Thank that's your specialty. Thank you, Thank you. Because if I said that one, it would sound like bragging. That's what I didn't want to say. Okay, criticisms. Criticisms. I've yes. only one. Not very thorough. Left a lot of valuable. Yeah, I don't mind. think that was no, a mistake. I know, so. No, that was one of the limitations of this job. But... By the way, great job in there. It was nice, nice working with you because it was like. <laughs> Next order of business, Mr. Henry. I know you're probably wondering when am I going to introduce you to Mr. Henry after all I've told you about him. Well, I'm answer that question very soon. In fact, judging from how well that. Here you go, you got to do that a bit. There you go. And judging from how well that job went today, which was pretty good, man, including the coin collection in the earrings, was to say the least. You took the earrings, Dignan? You took them? No, it's my fault. It's like, uh, ultimately, Anthony, what are you going to learn? Man, you got another ball. Should I play your game? List, Dignan. I know you remember the list because you signed it. You signed it things Dignan's not supposed to touch. The thing is, I can't be sorting through all that shit in the middle of a burglary. Hey, just hey, I don't time. care, okay? I bought the earrings for my mother on her birthday. I went down, I picked them out myself. And one thing is, every value item in the house was on that list. Hey, maybe we should have robbed your house. You ever think of that? No, I bet that never crossed your mind. What? What? Come on, Dignit. You know there's nothing to steal from my mom and Craig.
Hey, Grace! Say hi anymore? Come on. Are you the pilot? No, I'm, I'm Anthony. I'm Grace's brother. Will you excuse us for a minute, Bernice? You should. Yeah. You told, you told your friend Bernice I'm some kind of jet pilot? What was I supposed to say? They stuck you in an insane asylum? It wasn't an insane asylum, Grace. I explained to you back then that it was for exhaustion. Exhaustion? Yes, exhaustion. You haven't worked a day in your life. How could you be exhausted? Okay, sit down, okay? I didn't come up here today to argue with you, okay? I've got some friends waiting for me, and I've got some Who? things that I need to... Some associates. That's... Dignan? Yeah, Dignan, but also some... What's wrong with Dignan, Grace? I thought you liked Dignan. I do like Dignan. Then why do you sigh when I mention his name But now? he's a liar. Bob Maplethorpe, potential getaway driver, go. Go. Well, I think there's a real area of mystery about Don't me. complicate it. Your number one strength is you have a car you can provide. Sell yourself. Start over. Ready? Go. Okay. All right. I'm a risk taker. I'm growing an entire crop of marijuana plants in my parents' backyard. I think that shows Wait a little. A second. You're growing an entire crop of marijuana in your backyard. Take in a look. I'm just not that good at this selling yourself stuff, okay? So I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I really wanna be a part of this team. And I'm the only one with a car. That's good. That's good. Cause that hits me right here. Okay, can you do me a favor? Take, uh, I want you to take these earrings. Put them in mom's mahogany box. So put them in your backpack or something so you don't lose them here. Please. Could you just put them in the box, please, Grace? You've really gotten into the bad habit of asking a huge amount of questions lately. I gotta go, okay, pal? What's gonna happen to you, Anthony? Jeez, what the hell kind of question is that to ask me? When are you coming home? Grace. I can't come home. I'm an adult. Why are you looking at me like that? Little kid, I want to know what caused thunder. How'd it go with Grace? How'd it go? Can you leave, please, Bob. <clears throat> little kids are really cute. She is a cute little kid. You know what happened? I just have no idea. I mean, how did Grace get so cynical? Look, where, I where can't answer that question where right now. All I'm concerned from? about is getting you back in the car, man. This conclusion Let's get back in the car point. where we can... She thinks down. I'm a failure. What? She said you were a failure? What has she ever accomplished with her life that's so great, man? Nothing. Nothing. Wait, you don't have to do anything, I'm not man. saying that she has to look up to me at all. I'm not saying that. Don't worry about it. Maybe she should. Why not? Stop. She's stop she for a second. Best we stop for a second I and look at this. Oh, no. I learned more in the two months I spent with Mr. Henry and his crew than I learned in 15 years of academic study. Fact, I can guarantee you after Mr. Henry sees us pull this job, he's going to take a personal interest in our future. Fact. Mr. Henry draws a Fact, Dignan. The picture's not doing it for me right now. Just... Well, is the fact that I'm trying to do it do it for you? 
Uh, I hate to interrupt your conversation, guys. But I think I know what you've been going through, man. Because I've been through some pretty heavy shit myself. If you're feeling alone, like nobody in the world cares, and nobody in the fucking world gives a shit, then I'm here. Oh, that was a scratch. I'm ready to listen, man. And if you want, I'll even open up first. I mean, my brother, that's a shit situation, you know? He beats the crap out of me all the time. <laughs> I don't suppose each one of you know why Bob's car's parked out in front. Yeah, he's here. He's, uh, he's in... He he's, said he's here at the house. Let me see if Bob's keeping the pool clean. That's future man. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. What the fuck is this? Bob knows Clay. Bob, you were told to thoroughly clean the pool this morning. It's a leaf. Your name's Anthony, isn't it? Yeah, his name's Anthony. My name's Dignan. I'm Stacy Sinclair. Elizabeth's sorority sister? I didn't know she had a sister. <laughs> oh my god, you have the best sense of humor. She is going to be so jealous. I saw you here. So, you go to school in Arizona, right? No, I was in the hospital. Oh, what for? Oh, nuts. He's kidding. He's kidding. He didn't go nuts. thing. How'd it happen? Do you really want to know? Yes, I really do. One morning, over at Elizabeth's beach house, she asked me if I'd rather go water skiing or lay out. And I realized that not only did I not want to answer that question, but I never wanted to answer another water sports question or see any of these people again for the rest of my life. Three days later, I was on my way out to the desert, and that was that. Bully and son of a bitch! You're calling me a bully! Here's a bully for ya! Ow! Hold on, Bob, you're only gonna make this tape longer! You're really complicated, aren't you? Ah, right here! I try not to be. That's a good question. No, I don't think we're going to be chased. I'm just being hypocritical here. However, I will say, Bob, please don't interrupt me, man, because I'm trying to stay focused on this stuff. You're responsible for the external situation tomorrow. Streets and the getaway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. The, are the explosives really necessary here? I think it'd be a lot more simple if I just walk up to the door alone. I, I think that that would be... M Why are you undermining me, man? How much bullets is this thing? Um, look, I'm paying man. attention. God damn it! You're not paying attention if you're messing around with the gun. Now quit 
Anthony, just keep the gun the on the table. Keep I, I can't focus Not unless the gun is on the table. Are you just waiting for it? Shut up, man. Shut up. I'm warning you now. Be quiet, please. It's true, Dignan. I paid for the gun. Say it again. Say it one more time. Say it again. Repeat what you just said. I paid for the gun. He's out. You're out too. And I don't calm think I'm down, any. Okay. No gang. See the star is me right there, and I'll be in there. The X is Anthony. Bob, you're the zero out here in the car. Okay. Okay. What are you putting that tape on your nose for? my sweater inside. I know. Uh, do you have a lost and found? Here he comes. Robbie? 
Uh-huh. Aren't you supposed to be in literature? It's all full up. Okay, they need you in the office right now. Use the little bags and put the money in there. We'll just use a lot of them. Quickly. Just do your best. Why, why do you wear that tape on your nose? Here you go. Little bags, man. Okay. Everybody, I want everybody to sit tight. Sit tight. Okay, thank you so much. Success. Full success. Okay, we're heading back to Bob. So we're going to hit the road and go on the land. Go. 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 <laughs> okay, now before we divide the loot, let me say one thing. Bob gets the Spirit Award on this case. Hey. <laughs> and although his share won't be as equal as ours, his contribution was never like, come here, Bob. Come here. Did you see the look he gave me? Don't double cross this guy. Don't even think it. Great work. Great work. Both of you. Clink, clink. You dig clink. Thank you. So, Dignan, what's next? Do we meet the crew after we go on the lamb or what? Everybody wants to know what's next. May I enjoy this moment? What crew? Now's not a good time to bring up the crew. God damn it. You son of a bitch! You're gonna cut me out! You're gonna wait a second, wait a second Bob, nothing. You're gonna cut me out on anybody you out of anything. Okay, let me show you this. Whoa, whoa. No, Dignan, this is fun. Bob should see this. Wow. Oh. I got something. What's this supposed to be? That's the crew. That's Mr. Henry. <laughs> These are the. I know. <laughs> Anthony, that's the Long Wranglers, the landscape company that Dignan here used to work for. What do you mean, landscaping? I mean, push the mower. Trim the hedge. Landscape. <laughs> Landscaping. Landscaping. Oh. Yes, they're landscapers, okay? Yes, 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 they're landscapers. But did it ever occur to you that a landscaping crew is a perfect front for an operation, man? Now look at this. You've seen this picture. That is Mr. Henry. And aside from owning the Lawn Wranglers, he is a very talented thief. Then, uh, why aren't you over there right now? Because we're fugitives. And also because he fired me. Best job I ever had. Working my way up, meeting people, listening to stories. One day, day walks on and says, Dignan, you're out. Just like that. By the way, man, he was right. It's just because it's a front doesn't mean somebody doesn't have to do the actual landscaping. Those days are over now. It's just a matter of time before I pick up the phone and I say, Mr. H, we are coming home. So don't worry about your future, man, because I am thinking. Anthony. <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention the Bob about me getting Johnny Law. It ain't no trip to Cleveland.
Big Man, I don't expect you to be as depressed as I am, but I don't think, watch the world, but I don't think that your happiness is quite appropriate. I mean, your 75-year plan does not seem to be working, you know? The only thing I've learned so far is that crime does not pay. Yeah, that's not the greatest attitude in the world to have. I don't think we get anywhere by complaining, guys. Okay. You're right. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Great little place to lie low. The heat cools down and we'll get in touch with Mr. Henry. I'm going to get the best room in the house, guys. Crime does pay. Just not possible, all right? You're gonna have to dye it red, man, because we need to hide our identities. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that either. Even if it's the difference between some trooper recognizing us and throwing us in jail or not? I guess so. Then you, my dear friend, are a damn fool. Let's go, Bob. Come on. Bob, let's go. A damn fool! Hello? Excuse me? No, no, it's okay. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Nice out today, isn't it? Boy, you get a nice breeze with that door open like it is. It was kind of stuffy in here. Do you do all of these rooms yourself? All of these? Of them? I'm Anthony. Anthony. What's your name? Ines. Ines. Thank 
think I might have seen you earlier when I was swimming. Did you happen to see me down there by the pool? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. You speak English? Spanish? Stand up very straight. Well, people they think because they're in a hotel that they can really just kind of act like slobs. It's bad manners if you ask me. <laughs> if I were guilty of it, yeah. Which part of Mexico are you from? Paraguay. Paraguay. Well, okay, that's kind of over. Excuse me, I'm thinking. Oh, I think. Sorry, miss. Towels are still warm. I guess that's from the dryer. Housekeeping? Sorry. No, we're just checking. That's a good hair. That's a good haircut there. Hard on the side. That's what my friend needs to get. So I'll go like this. Here, you go first. Bring him back and I speak to you for a moment, please. It's about when I don't want to crop. I don't want everyone to hear this. I don't want to lose my face My brother is in jail. What's the official charge? They say he's a drug dealer. So, they say he's a drug dealer. You and I both know he's not a drug dealer. He's yeah, not a drug I know that. Well, well, Bob, what about hiding our identities? Bob! I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to take a rain check. Bob! This is great. Sitting here in the laundry room, you working on your vocabulary, and we're sharing these tamales. It's You were just a little girl in this mistake. Little girl in Paraguay. Can I keep this in a habit? She's my sister. Really? She looks just like you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, okay, I guess there's been a mistake made. 212. You speak English. We have a friend.
situation. I don't care what you think. I don't care. Tango uno situation mi familia. Dignan does not want to deal with it. Could you please come outside for a minute? I'm just saying you've got to analyze the situation, okay? First of all, how long are they going to hold? I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is that Bill says they got him that he's in jail. Okay, what I've been made a suggestion is that he needs to hire an attorney. You were pushing your luck, man. So what, you think I should just abandon my brother? Yeah. No, Bob, no, I'm, I'm saying let's keep it, let's keep it very simple, okay? We'll make some calls, figure out what's going on. And if he's not out in 48 hours, then we'll go back, okay? Bob? What? Is that okay? Okay. And okay. I wasn't trying to antagonize you, man, well, by saying sure. that stuff. Okay. It was just that you were going to fly off half the back. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a team decision. duty. Swim at your own risk. Okay, we'll, we'll be very careful, Jerry. Thank you. You guys mind if I take a dip? Hey, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not that insensitive. Besides, I didn't bring my trunks anyway. How's the water down there? I'm going to give you something, okay? Make sure that whole going for this. Well, thank you for listening to our old war stories. I hope they didn't bore you too terribly. Uh, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, 
Good evening. Good evening. Bye, Jerry. Anyways, the watch, okay? It has an, an alarm on it, and it will go off and make a sound when we're supposed to meet. And you do that by this little button right here, so you can just press that, see? Okay. It's pretty simple. Bueno, I have to go. I'm very glad I met you, Lance. Me too. I have to go. He's long gone. Hi, housekeeping? Can I speak to Inez, please? I thought she gets in at nine. Oh, it is. Okay, see, I don't have my watch on. She has it. Tell me something. What's it like working with her? I mean, I bet she's really great at this. Oh, okay. Bye. We'll get him. We'll get him, man. Don't worry about that. We'll get him. And when we do get him, we'll blow up his car, do something. I can guarantee you that. What makes me furious is thinking about the look on Bob's fat face, man, when he drives away to that thing when he pulled one over on us, man. I'll tell you another thing. That if our paths cross again, you're going to see a side of Dignan that you haven't seen before. A sick, sadistic side, because I'm furious at Bob. Oh, I couldn't be more angry. Come on, what? Bob didn't steal the car. You know, he told me he was leaving. He went back to help his brother. Dignan, look, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about Bob leaving. You, you had just as much a right to know as I did. I'm sorry Thank that you. I didn't say Thank anything. You. That's all I needed. I mean, who's to say that you need Bob to have an adventure? Where's our girl, Red? And there's nothing that says that. What are you working on? No, just, just sketches. <clears throat> Sparks coming off, kind of stardust, nothing. Sorry, it's don't just... apologize to me. Don't do that to me. Don't treat me like the jealous friend who's envious of you, because that's not what this is about. I am as excited for you as anybody is. Really? And I gotta go. I'll see you later, Dignan. See you back through.
Come uh, over to this bar we're going to, Dignan. Where? It's in the town. No, I don't want to go. Why don't you just come with us? Why don't you just come over there with us? Imagínese lo que me acaba de pasar ahora. No, llegó un ricachón ahí el taller que se le cayeron las llaves en el tanque de gas. Imagínate. Ah, sí. No, qué tarado. Ah, sí. Bueno, ahí nos vemos. Bueno, ya. Que te vaya bien. Oh, that guy was a real chatterbox, wasn't it? I didn't think he was ever going to stop with the story. Jesus. That's what I call a language barrier. I just need to... I need to go see you just cheated! Okay! I'm calling my guy! It's just get a little frustrating sometimes. Anthony! You guys talk so much like... God, you know, I, I can't believe the guy just decided to jump you like that. Can you pass me those french fries, please? Yeah. Damien, you know, I was right out in front of the place with the Nets. I if you don't want I'd rather not relive it. Don't really feel much like talking about it. In fact, the only thing I feel like is getting the fuck out of this town. Yeah. We, uh, need a car, I think. I have an idea for that. Inez has a master key to all the rooms, doesn't she? Doesn't she? Yeah, I don't think we can do that. I, I know we can. It's real simple. We go on to another room. I'm we sorry, but it's, it's not even a possibility, okay? Then we're going to have to hotwire a car. And this idea, I don't back down from. This idea... Yeah, it is. Let's, let's go outside. Where Why are you, Gary? If 
feel great in this. He's uh, under the weather a little bit. If so, I uh, Mine? Nez, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think I've got it. Thirty seconds ago, I was lost, just in a total fog, and then it hit me like a bolt of lightning. It's been, it's been a perfect clarity. Don't slow me down, Nez. I gotta get this all out while it's still fresh in my head. Um, this could get a little tough to communicate. Well, where's the kid? Where's Rocky? Hey, Rocky. Yeah. Can you help me out for just a second, man? What do you need? I just need you to do some translate some stuff from us. Yeah, 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 yeah,
se te hace muy fácil, yo creo que mejor que te vayas. doesn't want you to stay. She doesn't. You have to understand, she's an organized person and she can't just leave. She just, she didn't say that, did she? No, but I'm just telling you, she's a serious person. Yeah, please just Excuse me. Hola. Buenos dias, Tenez. Mi amigo Anthony asked me to give you this envelope. There you go. We certainly enjoyed our stay here. Would recommend this motel to any of our friends that might. Take care of Anthony. Que les vaya bien. So I feel a lot better. So long. Anthony, I love him. Do what? Tell Anthony, I, I love him. over here. Let's walk over to it and use the phone. We need to go home, okay? Whoa, 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 no. Let's go to plan B. We'll hitchhike to the next town. Look, no, we hitchhike to the next... It's over, okay? We're broke. We're, we're gonna go home. First of all, 
what is broke to you? You're so spoiled, man. Having only a few hundred dollars is not broke. We're okay. This is a setback. We hitch our... What is this? All right, $16. So, where's the rest of the money? You gave the two and that's. No, I never gave and that's anything. In the envelope. some mental hospital out in the middle of nowhere going running at night getting a tan with, with a bunch of beautiful girls did you ever think about that what do you think Dignan was doing that whole time you're out there man I told you Dignan got fired out on his ass but you never thought about that did you no in the end, it's easier just to think about yourself than to think about Dignan. Okay. Dignan, come on. I thought I was supposed to be the one who's a little crazy, you know? Dignan, come on. <laughs> Douglas isn't all it's cracked up to be. It never was. But if you're feeling lonely or homesick even, I recommend that one, you call me. I'm staying at Bob Maplethorpe's. And two, that you keep extremely busy. It's working for me. I've got a whole new program. 
Bob and I get up at 5.30 every morning to run our paper out. We've got three jobs. Money isn't much, and Bob in particular isn't suited for this kind of work. But we keep each other company, and we both feel much better about ourselves now that we're working hard. I've enjoyed it. Y'all come back. Thanks, Mr. Jack, I've been working. I made $75 in tips last night. Bob's brother, Future Man, has accumulated some extensive legal debts, or gradually helping him to pay those off. Can I at least have three bucks for gas? Okay. I'm also coaching a little league soccer team called the Hurricanes. They're mostly beginners, but they've got a lot of spirit, and they don't let defeat get them down. They remind me of Dignan in that way. Say what you will about him, he's no cynic and he's no quitter. I'm usually so exhausted now at the end of the days that I don't have time to think about blown opportunities or wasted time. I do have one bit of advice for you though, Grace. Take the time in school to learn a foreign language. I myself never did and I feel I've paid a price for it. Well, so long, Grace. I miss you very much. Don't forget to ride me back, Anthony. Okay, there he goes. Hey! Anthony! Stegnan! Wait up! Where are you going? Just walking Hector. How long you been back? Oh, wow. How's, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Hector! Oh. Now, I wish that some of the stuff that was said hadn't been said out there by me. And, sorry, shake hands. So she got on, man. Jumpsuit. Like it? Or a dozen of them. Anthony, I'd like to introduce you to Applejack. Applejack? Hi. It's Anthony. Anthony Adams. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got this program and I'm trying to stick to it. Now. Okay. Okay. Just hear me out. It's called Hinkley Cold Storage. Here are just a few of the key ingredients: dynamite, pole vaulting, laughing gas, choppers. Can you see how incredible this is going to be? Hang gliding. Come on. I can't do it. I know, but I mean, if he doesn't have the enthusiasm, then who needs him? Oh, oh, oh that juice in a mouthful. Ah, uh, you all I can speak so would, would you, Mr. Henry? That'd be great. Sugar cone? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> you want anything, Anthony? No, oh, thanks. Yeah. Listen. <coughs> you know... breaking his heart, you know that, don't you? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, kid, he uh, worked on one of my garden crews. I mean, uh, <clears throat> nice fellow. He didn't perform, so I had to fire him. And then six months later, I, uh, I get a call from the gas station. About 200 miles outside of Victoria. <laughs> what the hell are you doing out there? But there's something in his voice. You know what I'm saying? I fell for it. I mean, the poor guy. Here he is. He thought he had a team. Turns out to be a man alone. That's tough, man. Real tough. Here you go, Mr. Henry. Hey. Dignan? I ain't done thank Yeah, I've done a lot of thank you. Position open for you. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't do that. You know? Come on, go for a ride. Come on, Digna. It's too small for the both of us. No, it isn't. Jump on, man. I'll give you a pump. Where'd you get this? You got it for a foot. Oh, you weren't. Jumpsuit. Clay, look at this guy. He looks like a rodeo clown. <laughs> he looks like a little banana. Where are you from? <laughs> anyway, man. I'm from around here. This guy used to mow our lawn. No shit. Yeah, he was great. Clipping the hedges, sweeping up, mowing the lawn. <laughs> what was the name of your little lawn mowing company? <laughs> the Lawn Wranglers? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Keep up the mowing, Kimasabi. It was, it was, it's landscaping, not just mowing. Oh, man, don't listen to that guy. I don't know. Sometimes I, I mean, I'm not always as confident as I look. Did you see what he had on? Yeah. It's pretty cool.
good? I'm in. I knew you'd be back. Three conditions. One, you mastermind the plan. Two, Bob's on the team. Let's hear the third one. Jumpsuits. You like these? Yeah. Done. Deal. All right. You're doing the right thing, Anthony. Yeah, I know I am. All right, I'll see you later on. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Jackson, last I heard, they were in Singapore. Your brother was up here the other day. He said you ran away from home. So what? You ran away from home? Oh, shit. Oh, I'll see you, Bob. Hi, guys. Bob, fancy seeing you here. The rest of the gang. Hi, John Mapplethorpe. Hi. Good morning. Nice to meet you. John Mapplethorpe. Applejack. Applejack, nice to meet you. John Mapplethorpe. 
John, great pleasure to meet you. And your name is? Jackson said you told him I ran away from home, Jack. Yeah, I might have mentioned it. Jack, I'm 26 years old. I didn't run away from home. Oh, that's right. You're on that top secret mission. I'm sorry. I forgot I was supposed to say anything. <laughs> I just appreciate it if you didn't run around telling everybody lies about me. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I know you have a reputation to uphold. Won't happen again. <laughs> Jonathan. Yeah. You know, Jonathan, the world needs dreamers. Excuse me? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, John, one day I believe that you're going to wake up and realize you no longer have a brother and you no longer have any friends. And on that day, I'm going to be standing front and center just laughing my fucking head off. <laughs> John! <laughs> My brother. Are we okay here? Okay, 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 okay. I hope this doesn't offend you, Bob, but your brother's a cocksucker. No. Offend you? Huh? No, that didn't offend me. Okay, good. <laughs> well, welcome, Bob. Got a beautiful house. Hispanic male, non smoker, enters white van, southwest door. Mark that down. There you go. Drive away just like you always do. We got it, man. We know it backwards and we know it forwards because we've done the legwork and we've done the research. And now it pays off tomorrow. What are you working on? Oh wow, it's my little drawing. He goes, pull that over the thing. He goes, and there he is. I love it though. I love it. You're creative. Tell me something. What do you think of Inez? As a person? Yeah, as a girl. <sighs> I liked her. I thought she was a good person. She was friendly, she was attractive. Uh, I didn't get to know her as well as you did. That's the only reason why I even bothered to hesitate. That kid Rocky struck me as kind of a weirdo. Uh, he, I uh, didn't- Rocky? Oh, I mean, he said he loved you. What? Yeah, he said he loved you. Was, I mean, that was just seemed strange. Was translating? Was he translating for me when he said he loved you? He said he loved you. No, he wouldn't translate. That's how I understood him. He was talking in English. And I was like, what? Okay. I'll... Whoa, 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 Anthony. Where are you? He's just a mixed up kid. Anthony, come on. You're blowing our cover. Maybe I didn't understand Yeah, hi, I'm calling for a motel. I don't know the area, but I just know the name of the motel. Listen, uh, could I borrow in a minute? Uh, sure. Uh, I was thinking, uh, you know, it yeah. might give you a feeling of security if I went in there with you tomorrow. Huh? You know, just just for backup. Uh, cheeky. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I mean, it couldn't hurt, could it? No, it couldn't hurt, but 
Well, you gotta weigh the pros and the cons, and you're the one who hit me to that, Mr. Henry. Weigh the cons. Cons. If you go in there tomorrow, then it's just another score by Abe Henry. That's, that's true. Yeah, hi, can I speak to Inez, please? No, she's one of the housekeepers. She works here. She's worked there for a while. Please don't do this to me, ma'am. But I'll just, let me see what I can do. Well, it's your decision. It's okay with you. You mean a lot to me. If you let me try this for a while. Tell you something, you got the guts of a damn lion. Housekeeping. Carmen, how's it going? Yeah, I'm looking for a nest. Have you seen her today? Is she in? Nope. She's not here. All right, man. How's, how's it going? She's one of the housekeepers there. Oh, she is? Yeah, she is. Hold on. You sound terrific. How are you? That's great. No, I'm great. I'm great. Especially now that I got you. I've been looking all over for you. I talked to every single person at the hotel today. When am I going to see you again? God, your English is really improving. You know that? It sounds... You're fluent now, Inez. Thank you. So, uh, the word on the street, uh, or should I say the rumor has it that, uh, well, I heard you love me. Yes, I do. Yeah! <laughs> God, I miss. Okay. Stop, stop, get it down, go! 
they can't yeah. stay like we are just oh, a small It's the fire alarm! Shoot the fire alarm! It's because of all this fucking smoke, man! That's man, why it's cool alarm!
down, 23 to go. Anyway, I said to the DA that cop who hit me must have given me CRS disease. What's that? That's just what the DA asked. CRS is a disease where you can't remember shit. I can't amnesia. Right. CRS. Can't remember shit. CRS. <laughs> Tell Mr. Henry I said that. Okay. <clears throat> So is Mr. Henry going to come by and see me, or what? Uh, I don't think so. He actually robbed Bob's house. You're kidding me. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I almost robbed that place myself. You think Applejack knew? We haven't heard from Applejack since he got out of the hospital, since his case got dismissed. What? Why? We're not sure. We, we think Mr. Henry probably had something to do with it. Well, they take the health problems into account, so... From what all did he get? Pretty much everything. I bet he got that grand piano. He got everything. I bet that grand piano's worth ten grand. I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah, but, you know, in a strange way, it's brought me and Future Man closer together. I mean, we, we went out to look for a new piano the other day, and he looks at me and he says, Bob, just because you're a fuck-up doesn't mean you're not my brother. It kind of touched me. You know, he, he didn't normally open up like that. I talked to Inez last night. Really? Gonna be bringing you a care package when she comes up here. No shit. Yeah. She lied, man. Oh, yeah. Hang on to that one. Okay. You want anything special? Well... Got something for you guys. Oh, yeah? Both buckles that I made. Okay. There's one for yeah. you, one for you. I made a couple more that I was going to give to, uh, well, you know, Applejack, come on, Mr. Henry, but I don't know, maybe give it to Inez or I don't care. Give it to, give it to those guys. I don't have any hard feelings. Here. You're kidding. 
You have 30 seconds to take out the tower, Gordon. 30 what? seconds. Have the core running at the northwest checkpoint. They Bob and I are going to scale the barricade, and then oh, we're going to turn through the no man's land. And Bob, remember, shield me from the bullets. They won't shoot civilians. Are you ready? Hold on, man. Wait, wait a second, Let's dang go. it. Let's go. Now. Now. Isn't it funny how it used to be in the nut house and now I'm in jail? Thank you. 